The mayor race in this city obviously gets most of the attention this election season, but there are some other big races going on in New Jersey. But let's just talk about New York here uh, that you ought to be following. First up, in Westchester County, just to the north of the city, where the race for county executive is already getting real nasty. You got the incumbent Republican, Rob Astorino, and he'd seem to be an early favorite to win re-election. But there are far more Democrats, registered Democrats in the county than Republicans, which is good news for the challenger, Noam Bramson. And now Bramson is hitting Astorino hard with a new spot here where he uses a national issue in this local race, guns. Gun shows used to be banned in Westchester County. But Rob Astorino brought gun shows back to Westchester. Making it easier for criminals and the mentally ill to buy guns. Rob Astorino is even against Governor Cuomo's ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. This shouldn't be about politics. It's about stopping more fathers. More mothers. From knowing our pain, Rob Astorino should not be county executive. That's a pretty good spot. It's a pretty offensive spot, and it's also pretty half the truth spot. Uh, first of all, you know, you want to, uh, if this was a Republican, we'd be talking about carting out the families of victim status, etc. These, uh, these people who, of course, our hearts bleed for, they're, they're fam they are all parents of children who died uh, due to gun violence. These were, first of all, illegal guns. These were guns in a crime. They were illegal guns. I believe each one of those situations. If I'm wrong, I'll be corrected. God knows tomorrow morning, first thing. Also, Rob Astorino has made it absolute uh, by edict that any gun shows will have on-the-spot, full-fledged, full-background checks implemented did, at every single gun that, show, that, and there has not been a gun show not, since Newton. That's not the allegation that's made in the ad. Did Astorino bring gun shows back to Westchester County? Before he did Newtown. The, he yes. did at the county center. Does he oppose the SAFE Act, the gun law out of New York State? Yes, he does. Yes, because it is a bit silly. Again, when you go down the logic path of saying, you know, we're going to start telling criminals that they can't have a certain size clip, that a criminal is going to put one less bullet into a clip because the law says so. One of many Just facets like, of that law. We, we've been talking about this ad and where it was in the gun debate. We've been every, yeah. after each issue that we've had. Sure. When are we going to hear a little hard, victims? Just, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Andrew, but it was a little hard to see in that spot. But next to the names of the people that were doing the talking, they were their personal histories. They lost their son. They yes. lost a family member uh, to a gun, etc. We so, were talking about where is this ad to try to get background checks in Washington or to try to get you know one of the the. the you would think common sense bills through Washington that haven't been able to get passed. Now we're seeing it on a county executive race in Westchester County. That's, Which is that's really a non-starter because that the, this is so there is so little of this under the purview of the county executive. Well, to be honest with you, I said I, I was openly questioning a lot of, for example, abortion has come up in this debate. Mm -hmm. County executive has really very little to do with abortion. There's other federal social issues, but on the subject of guns, um, a county executive certainly as it relates to gun shows, et cetera, there is, for he or her, a role to play here. And I gotta admit, I was wondering a lot of the strategy that was going into the Branson campaign. That's a good spot. Republican it's a, Democrat, it's a good spot because it conveys a direct it's, message and you don't see it through some politicians' eyes. Wow. You threw it directly the, to the people. The approach is, hey, you see those, those Republicans in Washington who are driving you crazy yeah. and have a 15% approval rating in yeah. Westchester County. Your county executive is one of those. Okay. Nolan Bramson needs to, needs to resonate with North, North County Democrats. That message is not going to resonate with North County Democrats. Again, for point. the record, for the record, uh, no, uh, uh, Rob Astorino has absolutely Im implemented and by edict that any gun shows will have uh, background checks. I mean, background checks. Okay. There we go. Common All sense. right. Now, in addition to the spot you just saw, there are now accusations of racism that are creeping into this race as well. And Andrew, give a little bit of the backstory for people following the local area. Um, this went to front page status it, here at the beginning of the week. And, and Rich, this element comes into the race this weekend, or it did, after a newly formed group in New Rochelle, where Democrat Noam Bramson serves as mayor, accused Bramson of hostility to the African-American community. Their claims are somewhat questionable. Some of the claims about minority redistricting seem to have some merit, while others, including questions about a speech in a city park or that Bramson beat a black candidate for the Democratic nomination, or that he disrespects the president by referring to himself as a Clinton Democrat, seem a little more far-fetched. Uh, each of those arguments 
up for its own debate. Now, the group clearly supports Astor Reno, whose team then offered decidedly mixed messages about the groups and their claims. Bill O'Reilly, a friend of the show and a frequent guest on RFL, told the Journal News newspaper, quote, it's just not our issue. We don't want to be involved in this, he said, adding he does not believe Bramson is a racist. But then O'Reilly's colleague and also a friend of the show and guest on RFL, Jessica Proud, did get the campaign involved in the allegations, telling the paper, Mr. Bramson has had trouble with the New Rochelle African-American community for years. Witness his expulsion of New Rochelle NAACP President Ron Williams from a New Rochelle park recently. I reached out to both O'Reilly and Proud today to get to the bottom of those seemingly contradictory statements. Bill responded, quote, The only reason Jessica Proud even addressed the controversy was because Noam Bramson accused us of starting it, which he knows is not true. She had to address it in order to put it in historical perspective, Rich. It's true. I was there. I was at the park covering that announcement where Ron Williams, the NAACP president of New Rochelle, was about oh, to endorse Rob Rastorino. By the way, was an appointee of Rastorino who was actually, I believe, given... Um, Different guy. Different guy. You're talking about Michael... Uh, you're talking about Mark McLean. That's your right there. Uh, Human Rights Commission. Yeah. Given 8,000... You know what? This is amazing. Uh, an African-American man is appointed to the Human Rights Commission by a white Republican guy. And this is this would normally be a, a thing that should be lauded. An African-American man on the Human Rights Commission. Why should given, it be... Why, wait, if I made a big deal of a Republican putting a black no, 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 person no. on a committee, a, that Any, any be a person of color being put on an, on a Human Rights Commission, you would imagine... If it was a Democrat... Anyway, I give uh, uh, more that's not money, than that. It's there, not muddy the waters. He was given $8,000. His... His um, his group was given eight thousand dollars, and what with the what he does with that money is he is he goes through and he does activist work, ac community work, outreach, okay. trying to find minorities and women and veterans jobs. CJ, I don't have a dog in this race. Eighty-three percent of blacks in New Rochelle voted for Branson on an okay. almost record so, low turnout time event so, uh, okay. election. So I have every single fact so in front of me. By all means, please. You had the campaign themselves saying that they don't believe Bramson's a racist and they don't right. believe and they don't have anything or want anything to because do with Because this the is not about Rob Estorino. This is about Mark McClain. Mark McClain has been on my show twice in the past three days. Mark McClain sits, sits in the studio and looks at me with conviction and says, this is not about racism. He has not once himself Can said you racist. Favor? Look at me with conviction. I look at you with conviction, Richard. Oh, okay, I see it. Now, Richard now, I, now I know what the conviction is. And, and, no, no, but here's the thing. Put that <laughs> finger down. If you're going to pick that finger, you got to use it. Anyway, uh, here's the thing. R r he comes out and, and, and he says that this is not about Rob Estrino. You know, this is about, and he doesn't, he doesn't even care who wins the election. Again, with conviction. With conviction, he says. Conviction, yes. he says. Uh, no, but he said this is about about uh, Noam Bramson's record in New Rochelle with okay. the African American community. For example, can you let Andrew get a word? I, 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 but but what does he lost. know? Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to get into all of the minutia of all of the accusations. And, and as I said, some of them may have some validity, sure. some of them a lot more questionable. But the the park thing, I was there. He it was he did not have a permit for right. the speech that he was giving in the park and was right. asked to leave the park right. by authorities. Uh, the and the authorities they, wasn't Bramson who got in there and said, get out. I mean, give me a break. It was, I was standing there, and the guy so came So Noam up, came in and grabbed him by the no, collar no, and no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. The, the blue collar uh, rec guy came up and sheepishly said, uh, I'm sorry. You I, don't have a permit to be here, which also begs the question. No. If, if, said, if Bill O'Reilly, who's our friend, but who also works for the Astorino campaign, if T.J. McCormick, who is our friend but is a conservative radio host, is at this event... Maybe there's a political element to it. I'm just saying, maybe oh, there's a political element. it was purely political element. event. Okay. It, it, was an, it was an endorsement. It wasn't wise to have him leave the park. I'm but, sorry. Uh, you should have let him have but his again, event. But again, please understand, this is not about Noam Bramson no, being no. a racist. But you know what I hate, though, is I hate a few things. When people throw the Hitler uh, analogy sure. around and when people throw around racism. Well, you okay? know what we're seeing, And wait a minute. For, to throw it out, and even if somebody brings it back, it still gets out there. And to me, it's so reckless, especially when the guy, like I said, you know, nine out of 10 blacks vote for him in the city you represent. I doubt that this guy legitimately is being called a racist by any. He has been accused by the Zuber writers. He's okay. been accused by Mark yeah. McClain of trying okay. to of trying to reduce the concentration of the back of okay. the black population in certain districts. When well, we right here, here. Document we to turn to the race for city hall now this that we have shame. moved into the general. Will de Blasio continue to portray himself as a lefty here, or does the guy have to move to the middle? Dominic gives some free advice straight ahead.